Every one of us are fighting in some form or another, and at some level or another. Some are fighting several things, and on many levels. Physically, perhaps we may be fighting a physical illness, or living in lack, and struggling to pay and survive in these current times. Emotionally, perhaps we're fighting against sadness, against having our freedoms and privacy removed, against loneliness and feeling like an outcast in society and seeing injustices. Mentally, we may be battling with addictions and years of negative programming and control. Spiritually, we may also be battling with negativity since it appears negative energy always wants to be present in some form or another. Many would scoff at this and say, it's all in the mind. To some extent, they're correct, since battling on the spiritual level can take a toll on the mind, as well as the emotions and the physical body. Ancient wisdom has taught us that battling on the spiritual level is the most important, since this is the level where negativity can be stopped, preventing it reaching other levels. This is where the fight is won, as in the hymn. Fight the good fight with all thy might. This is where we get down to the heart of the matter. Some might say, what a load of old mumbo jumbo. Well, each to his or her own opinion. It's a matter of personal beliefs and for some, a matter of experience. We all have different journeys and a different purpose for being here and existing. We all have free will and can choose which energy we wish to attract and focus on. Some negative energies have been passed down from generation to generation until now. This is where it stops and finally the good fight is being won and love is winning. It was always going to win. It was just a matter of time and the time is now. There are courses available to take to help you with this. Many are called self-help. Yes, they can be useful and helpful, as some people have put in the work for themselves. However, the clues in the name, self-help, nobody can do it for you. You have to do it yourself. It's the ultimate DIY, except there are no set instructions to follow, since we're all different. The great creator, God, Allah, Buddha, Jah, or whatever word you choose, has the manual and the instructions for each of us. Nobody else has your instructions. If we're seeking our instructions, then that's where we start and that's where we finish. Seek and you shall find. That's what it says.